Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, and Rising Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new, happy to have you join us. Be sure to say hi in the comments. I am pulling from Priestess of Light Oracle. Ooh, to activate the reading, you get card number seven, but of course you do. Divine Feminine, Magnetic Receptive Power. Yes, the Empress. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so we're off to the races. I'm going to go ahead, pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We will get details from the clarifiers. Let's see what comes through. Mm, something coming toward you, maybe some energy of manifestation. And what's crossing you is it's something where there have something fell through in the past or mistakes of the past or regrets of the past but it's looking backward and that sort of um uh, making that manifestation a little bit more difficult and or because it's a general reading not a private reading so i got to give you my and or the and or is you know the anticipation of something returning coming in you know after feeling the loss of it Oh, I got that one, right? Yes, and your unconscious awareness. This was supposed to be about your happily ever after. In the past, a chariot, maybe some progress, or, um, you know, somehow there needed to be a will to move forward and make progress in your conscious awareness. Beautiful temperance. Temperance talks about going with the flow. It's um, self-control and restraint. There's no push when we see temperance so i'm liking that sense of balance of um you know one foot on the ground one foot in your feelings kind of trying to stay moored and anchored in the near future the star beautiful so if we're keeping hope alive here we could have some wishes granted or dreams coming true nice so let's jump in oops Let's jump in with some clarifiers. Three of wands, five of cups. Strength card. Over. There's a star again. Overcoming the obstacles, but you need the opportunity. So it kind of has to come toward you. And I do feel it is. It's just things are moving slow. So you do, right? Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight in the deck. But the good news about the Knight of Pentacles is... You know, once they arrive, they, they're the knight with the staying power. So it's whoever this is about, they are really taking stock. They are, um, you know, setting intentions very consciously with their thoughts toward beginning with the end in mind. Like, what do I want this to look like? What will I be able to offer? And it has to be tangible and it has to be solid. So that's why those, those knights, the knight... <laughs> With those knights the knight of pentacles tends to move more slowly and methodically and deliberately and it can throw us off the scent because we can think nothing's ever going to change nothing's ever going to happen they're never going to come back or we're never going to hear from them and then boom when we do it's like they've been living in some other universe and they show up really prepared and really ready to move the connection forward so i'm going to plant that seed of thought in your mind um, and we do have the, you know, keeping hope alive that we can overcome the obstacles and get past whatever um, either missed a beat in the past, went wrong in the past, any mistakes that were made, um, any regrets that we have. And I feel like I'm speaking to both of you. It feels like I'm looking at a joint desire for some kind of wish fulfillment um with that star there so like like imagine yourselves being out imagine yourself being outside at the night time and looking up and fixating on a star and then understanding that your beloved is looking at the exact same star does that make sense like that's what i feel i'm seeing here energetically of course ten of cups in your unconscious awareness High Priestess, right, you're in, there's our Empress, some form of se separation, but yeah, or maybe, maybe just um, 
there's something that you haven't yet spoken out into the ether, right? Like you're keeping it under wraps. And it is you that I'm talking about, Empress here. And I do feel you're open and receptive to that sort of beautiful energy with your beloved past life soulmate here. And it just feels really comfortable, but like you don't wanna, you know how sometimes we, we, we have this energy around us and we're having like, a, you know, messages that come through that feel very like, 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 like too good, too, it's synchronicity. Hello. Oh, guys, it's been a day. So, right, like when you see those signs and synchronicities as is associated with high priestess and you, it's like, it's so confirmational and you're like, I know what's happening here. I know I'm, I, I have to be open and receptive to receiving my beloved, no matter how long it takes. There's this energy of, but I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to speak about it because I don't kind of want to jinx it, if that makes sense. That's what I'm seeing in your unconscious awareness. It's not like it's running your, your life here, but there's a part of you that has is hoping you guys can overcome whatever went down in the past. Let's look at the chariot. judgment queen of wands three of wands there it is okay so feels to me like you've been on this journey of um manifesting a return manifesting some form of progress right being open and sort of almost in a role of leadership energetically like a coach coaching someone come on back come on in Take that effort, have the will to move forward. I'm here. This is about reunion, reconciliation if it's needed, second chances. Maybe you've just been estranged from each other without anything having gone wrong, right? You know, like I'm seeing a, a connection here that really didn't have any problems in it, but then there's just this weird sort of separate energy thing and I'm seeing you coming in um, very much like a guide, very much like um, energetic encouragement, support, empress, queen of wands, temperance, strength, Now we have the King and Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords, the love and passion. You can wait. It's like you're saying, I see it clearly in my mind's eye. I focus on it in meditation. The love and the passion, I can wait. I know. And Temperance is also a card of transmutation, right? It's like, it's spiritual wisdom, but it's also like where we can shift an energy from one state to another. And that takes time. And it definitely feels like you're invested in that and you're acting in an energetic supportive way to your person. It's like you feel them getting closer. And so that's when we sort of say, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to kind of coast on this right now. You feel someone coming closer, so you don't want to speak into it. You just want to sort of hold it in your heart, hold it in your meditation, hold it in your mind, in your intention setting rituals, that this person is on their way back. Star in the near future. Mm. no more avoidance or um yeah the star what would be the dream come true right is not having not having to deal like almost overriding this sense of um like not wanting to deal with something head on so for some of you again general reading this five of cups represents something where there's some form of regret 
And as souls having a human experience, we often don't want to deal with that head on. We, we like, ch you know, chew our leg off just to kind of avoid having to deal with something directly. So I'm not seeing the Seven of Swords in a really nefarious sense. I'm seeing it as the block to acting on the passion, acting on that sense of inspiration. There is some form of a positive message that may be coming in or that is playing out behind the scenes, making its way to you. And it'll be the dream come true that you're dealing with somebody directly, that they're overriding their tendency to kind of want to cut and run. Um, so I, I'm seeing it positively. The Seven of Swords is not always about something nefarious and i'm saying that for a reason because i have not yet seen in the pisces readings a scenario where there was duplicity with intention i have seen a repeating theme of avoidance i have seen a repeating theme of someone needing to get out of dodge and away from another karmic energy. That's been very common. So I cannot go through this whole reading with so much positive energy and land on the Seven of Swords and see it as duplicity. I do see it as what needs to be overcome is the tendency to kind of escape, the tendency to not want to deal with something head on, the tendency to avoid direct contact with the mirror, right? The mirror, when someone has to face that they did something, right? And, and maybe not with ill intention, but something that really weighs on them. And it's like you're anticipating that opportunity for the two of you to overcome it and there's the star and what's underneath that is the knight of pentacles yeah this person's it's going to take them a while but once they see this ace of wands the beauty of the ace is the gift from spirit it's about grabbing it and running with it and i think you've been feeding this person energy for a while now to like go yeah go for it don't worry like don't avoid this situation because I'm open and receptive to what is the truth of the connection between us. I know this is <laughs> one of those readings where I feel like you are very strongly communicating at 5D. Um, <clears throat> I don't always get those kinds of readings, but this is a connection that it's like, you know, I'm surprised to not see the Wheel of Fortune. There's fate and destiny unfolding here, provided this person can overcome the insecurities that keep them running or avoiding. Um, <clears throat> but that's what I have for you. So before I give you the astrology, uh, there is going to be an extended. So I'm, I'm sort of looking at this as like that Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, somebody coming to terms with what they, what, you know, what they really desire out of love, out of a connection. Um, I'm going to look at them in the extended. Uh, we're looking at a high vibration, low vibration approach to everything. Well, we kind of see the low vibration is the cut and run, right? Uh, looking at their feelings, how they see you, think about you, feel about you, their intentions. Um, hidden energy, something they may not want you to see or know about, and then their message to you directly so that you kind of see that little dichotomy between what they don't want to reveal versus what they share with you openly. So that's what we're going to do in the extended and the links to those. Uh, the extendeds are below. One is a one time just for this extended and it says so. The other one is the Pisces monthly, which gives you um, access to a few collections of extendeds for the price of one. So check it out. All right, here we go. Um, also, if you enjoy the readings, if this one is speaking to you, by all means, please subscribe below. And then once you subscribe, if you don't want to miss future readings, just click the little notification bell and it'll just pop up in your feed. Okay, so that's my ask for today. The strength card is Leo. The star is Aquarian energy. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. High Priestess is the moon. I see her as Pisces, but... She's apparently the moon. I have been corrected. The Empress is Venus, Taurus, and Libra, Chariot, Cancerian energy. 
Judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. Queen of Wands is um, Aries. We have Temperance is Sagittarian energy. King of Wands, more Leo. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Um, the star is out twice. And our Page of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. That's what I have. Thanks for joining me. The link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.